Hello everyone, today I'm here to do my June wrap up and my July to be read. So stay tuned if you want to figure out what books I read and what books I'm, and what books I'm going to read. And I read a total of six books, which is okay, not too shabby, but I think one book should count as two, so we should just say I read seven books, just saying. First book I read was City of Heavenly Fire by Cassandra Clare. This is the one book that should be counted as two because it is mad. <laughs> anyway, I have its own review. You can click the book to go see to go watch it. I will say I love this book. I thought it was a great wrap up to an amazing series. So yeah, if you're unfamiliar with this, this is the sixth and final book in the Mortal Instruments series. And I thought it was awesome. It was a great wrap up. And yeah, it is just massive. So massive. So massive. Next book I read was We Were Liars by E. Lockhart, and I also have a review on this as well. Go click the book to watch the review. Um, I did like this book. I gave it a 3.5 I would say if I can give it a rating. I liked it. I didn't love it. I think this is a book either you're gonna really really love or just like you know be okay with it. I will say I did love the ending. Loved it. If you don't know about this book I'm not gonna keep you too. I'm not gonna give you too many details because it's best to go in this book without knowing anything. <laughs> it's basically about four teenagers who call themselves the liars and it's all about summers and stuff like that and mysteries and stuff happen and ooh, aren't you intrigued now you should definitely read it it's a really really tiny book if you can see like under 300 it's like just over 200 pages the next book i read you guys are gonna be so proud of me like so proud of me are you guys ready are you ready to learn what book i finally i finally read Bum, ba, da, bum. That's right. I read it. I finally read The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. All of you get so, so mad when I say I haven't read The Fault in Our Stars. So you're like, what's wrong with you? Well, I will tell you why I have not read it until now is because it's about cancer. Cancer's not a good subject for me because my younger brother had cancer. He is totally fine now, but just it was not a good time in my life and my whole family's life. And I try not to read many cancer books because it just makes me revisit it, it makes me rethink about it, and it's just horrible. And ugh. But I will say this was an amazing book and I'm so happy to have read it because I wasn't too too sad reading it. And I think that's because I was spoiled on the ending, I knew what was going to happen, but I will say I did love it nonetheless. And I really love John Green's writing style in this book. I will say this is my favorite John Green book, that is for sure. I love, there's one quote in here that I just... Ugh, I love. As he read, I fell in love the way you fall asleep, slowly and then all at once. Love that quote. Amazing, amazing. I read this to see the movie, and guess what? I still haven't seen the movie. I'm really bad about making sure I read the books to see the movies, and then guess what I don't do? I don't go see the movie. What is wrong with me? Anyway, five out of five for sure. Now you can be off my back and not be mad that I haven't read it because I've read it. Next book I read is Scandal by Sarah Ockler. And I actually have a video about this as well. It's all about social media and books and all that kind of stuff. It's about a girl that goes to prom with her best friend's boyfriend and because her best friend's sick and the girl has been harboring feelings for the boyfriend for quite some time. And then they kiss at prom and she learns that he likes her as well, but oops, somebody snapped a Facebook photo of it, as well as stolen her phone and taken pictures of everything that happened at the after party and used it and put it on her phone through her Facebook. So, ugh, social media, not so great in this book, that is for sure. Overall, really good. I would say I give it a three out of five. I didn't super, super love it, but it was it was an okay read. Next book I read, or I should rather say I reread, is Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. If you guys don't know, like I haven't said it for the 50,000th time, I am participating in Summer Spells with a bunch of my friends, which is pretty much a three-month Harry Potter read-along. So for the month of June, July, and August, we're just reading all things Harry Potter. So whether you're reading it for the first time or for like the 50th time, like myself, um, just throw yourself back in the world of Harry Potter. And I will say, I love this book. I just... Uh, I can fly through Harry Potter books because I think I've read them literally so many times that yes, I do get foggy on the details, but as soon as I open the book up, I'm like, oh, everything's coming back to me all at once. And it was just a fun and magical ride. And I adore, I adore Harry Potter. So of course, five out of five. It's Harry Potter. Why wouldn't it be? And the last book I read for the month of June is Sinner by Maggie Stiefvater. Stiefvater? I'll never say it right, let's be honest. Um, this is the like companion sequel novel to the Willis and Mercy Falls slash 
Shimmer Trilogy, which I liked. A lot of people don't like, but I, I like it. <laughs> I liked this book. I didn't love it. I went into it expecting to love the mess out of it, and I was okay with it. I think it's because it's about, it follows Cole and Isabel, if you've read the Shimmer Trilogy, if you've read the Shiver series, you know all about them. And I like Cole, but Isabel, not so much. And I felt this way in the same, I felt this way in the book too. Like I liked Cole, Isabel, not so much, but I liked it. I will be filming a review video for this shortly, so stay tuned. I will say for now, I would give it a 3.5, three and a half stars. So yeah. June, now July, I'm setting myself up for quite a lot of failure probably. Let's be honest about it. But you know what? Just reach for the stars, kids do it. <laughs> um, anyway, um, I know the Booktubeathon is happening, I think in the middle of July. So I think some of these reads will be incorporated into that, but as well as some new reads. I'll do a separate video when the Booktubeathon comes around, all about what I'm specific, specifically, I always say that wrong, <laughs> what I am reading during the Booktubeathon. So these might be structured into those. Who knows? Let's just, I'm just gonna show you what I'm reading. Three books I'm hoping to read or reread are going to be Book two, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Book three, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. And book four, Harry Potter and the Couplet of Fire for Summer Spells for the rereading a thon. I think I could do this because, like I said, since I've read them so many times, like earlier, like like a long time ago, I've read them countless times. Um, I think it will be probably really easy to reread these because I'm just familiar with it, honestly, and just because I love Harry Potter so much. So I think I could knock two, three, and four out. And what's your favorite Harry Potter book? Mine is definitely The Prisoner of Azkaban, my favorite of all time. But I will say my favorite cover out of this new paperback edition series, which isn't it beautiful, is going to be The Goblet of Fire. How colorful and how beautiful is this cover? Ha! Ah, so pretty. So, so pretty. I love these new paperback editions. Just want to pet them. <laughs> the next book I'm planning to read is Landline by Rainbow Roll. Um, I don't know if you guys have heard about the Chicklets book club here on BookTube. Hosted by Beth from Best Student 327, Jamie from Girl Books, and Cassidy from Cassidy Von Shea. They asked me to be a part of the Chicklets book club, which I said, heck yes, because I love some Chicklets. It, this is going to be our July book of the month that we're all reading and it's Landline by Rainbow Roll like I said and I'm super excited to read it because I love Rainbow Roll and I feel like she can't do any wrong in my world and I hope this book will be good. <laughs> I've heard mixed things about it I will say. I don't know but nonetheless I'm still excited to read it. This is an adult chiclet novel just to let you know. It's about a woman, it's about a married couple quite essentially and their marriage is going through a rough patch and all that kind of stuff but she finds that she can um she finds a way to not like time travel but talk to her younger self through the phone so hopefully that can help her marriage and stuff like that but i'm super excited to read it really excited next book is actually a review book and that's going to be earth nope nope and that's going to be earthbound by april lynn pike this is the first in i don't know if it's a trilogy or whatever but i know the second one comes out later this month if i'm not mistaken it's about a girl who is a sole survivor of the plane of a plane crash but she learns that maybe she wasn't supposed to be a survivor or maybe things are a little bit too mysterious and all things like that i've heard amazing things about this series so i'm hoping to fly right on through it and the next book i plan to read is running lean by diana l sharples the author sent this to me and i just really want to read it because it looks really good if i'm being honest <laughs> if i'm being honest with you it's about a couple that has both going things going on through their lives and they're kind of focusing on each other but sometimes that could not be so good when things are happening in your life and stuff like that. I know it's a real real gritty novel and I don't read too many of those and I really want to read more of them so I hope to love this book as well. Next book I plan to read is strictly because I want a little something sweet and that's gonna be A Little Something Different by Sandy Hall. This book is said to say that it will make you fall in love with falling in love which I love love. I love it so much and I if it does this if it's as cute and as adorable as it sounds I can't wait to read it. It's about I think this book is all about from different point of views about this couple that should get together but they're not getting together like everyone can see it but this couple like they're meant to be together. The barista knows it like a squirrel knows it everybody's different point of views know it but them too so uh, I can't wait to read this one honestly because I just love cutesy books if I'm being honest with myself. I love them. Last book I actually plan to listen to, I don't have it with me because 
went for it from a library. And that is going to be 20s Girls by Sophie Kinsella. This is one of the few Sophie Kinsella books I haven't read. And any chance I can listen to Sophie Kinsella's books, I hop on it because I love listening to her books. Like I've listened to I've Got Your Number by Sophie Kinsella. Freaking adore that book. And I listened to her first shop Confessions of a Shopaholic um, book in audiobook and I love that one as well. I just love listening to them in audio. I think this one is about a girl who moves into her dead aunt's apartment or something and she was a real big partier in the 20s or something like that. I don't know. I don't care. It's Sophie Kinsella. That's all I need to know. <laughs> Hopefully I will love it but it's Sophie Kinsella so I'm pretty sure I'll love it. <laughs> anyway that's a lot of books I'm reading like seven or eight quite nervous now. I better like stop this and get to reading. What am I doing? What are you still here? We need to go read. Let's go read. Let's go. Let me know what you've read this month and what you're planning to read next month and yeah, all that stuff. Let's go read. Goodbye everyone.